Quit swishing your tail. So y'all think it should be by the window? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is a lot of dust. Hey. Do hey. not judge. That is a lot of cat here though, isn't it? Oh my gosh. What? Don't look. Don't look at it. Oh my. It's not that bad. It is. It's like piles. I have two cats in depression. Okay? my bookshelf set up a few days ago and now that I have it like this I can't stop thinking about having my bookshelf here with my little art gallery above it and my desk here so I have to take all these books off again just to move it across the floor to this spot and I want to see what that looks like and hopefully I don't regret it because it doesn't look like a lot of books but these are triple stacked there's three layers of books in each cubicle but we're gonna see what it looks like with this swapped. Hopefully this isn't a waste of time. Thanks to God for thunder thighs. I'm so irritated with myself. I got it all the way over to this part of my room, but I don't like this gap right here. So I think I'm gonna put it back. I have a confession to make. So I filmed the little clips for the front of my journal at the beginning of the year and this journal is used, she's filled, she's thick, um, she's done. I just finished my second journal, the inside cover. I think I'm gonna label it Divinity Era, I don't know. I name all my journals, so like this one was Musings. I think this one's gonna be Divinity Era, but this is the inside of this one. Cute, huh? We got a little dragon, we got a lady hugging a wolf. Do I dare disturb the universe? So I'm already on my second journal for the year. Love that. One of my New Year's resolutions or goals for the year was to use two journals. And I've been trying to do like morning pages and stuff every day where you write a few pages a day of just like whatever you're thinking. Where's my coffee? Okay, now we can continue. I signed up for the pre-sales for these tickets for a Van Gogh exhibit that is like an hour away from where I live. I signed up for the pre-sales in January. Okay, it's August now. Like. I have waited eight months to be able to go to this exhibit. I love Van Gogh. I have some of his artwork already in my room. That is a skeleton smoking a cigarette. Love Van Gogh, love, love, love him. Um, I'll talk more about the exhibit later. I'm gonna take you with me so you can see what I <laughs> waited eight months to go look at. I'm really excited, but I gotta do some stuff before I go. Like I gotta clean out my purse. I need to do my hair because I currently look like Hagrid. I dyed my hair and it turned out way darker than uh, I thought it was going to. So love that. Better go get started because this is gonna take a while. under the desk. We weren't there, remember? Harry muttered. But Lockhart's disgusting cheeriness to his hints that he had always thought that Harry was no good. His confidence that the whole business was not an end irritated Harry so much. 
I have exactly two weeks of summer vacation and that is because I took a summer class. So when you take a summer class, you have the same amount of work that you do in like a spring or fall semester, but it's condensed into only like two and a half months, which leaves me of two weeks of summer vacation. The summer class I took was cr uh, profiling criminal behavior and it was one of the worst classes I have ever taken. It wasn't that the subject was bad because the subject was fine. Like the subject profiling criminal behavior that's super interesting. It's really great. Loved that. I loved the textbook. However, the teacher that I had for this class, he didn't post lectures. He wouldn't respond to emails if you have questions until like two or three weeks after the assignment for that email that you messaged about was like already turned in and over with and when he would reply back he was very snarky like he was almost mad at you for not understanding something or for asking a question even though he didn't post lectures or powerpoints or like anything teaching the material but whatever it's fine it's over thank god thank all the gods that's one thing that really sucks about classes and even though like I do online college but it still sucks with any kind of classes is just because you pay to take the class it doesn't mean you're going to have a good professor. A lot of professors are great and they they actually care about their job and they want you to learn the material um, but some professors just do not give a fuck and those classes are the ones that are like <laughs> But the silver lining is the Van Gogh Museum. So excited, so excited. And I love, 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 love him as an artist and his story. And like, it's really tragic, like all his mental health and everything. But I think that's one of the reasons that I, like I just adore him so much is because I too struggle with the will to live. The only thing I'm kind of nervous about is I think it's mostly digital art. I don't know how that's gonna go. I've never been to an exhibit that was mostly digital, but we'll see. Either way, it's a great activity for my first week of summer vacation. So far for summer, I've literally just been working or reading. I got a Kindle and oh my God, I didn't realize how much more I would read on a Kindle than I do like the physical books. I love having the physical books and having like the paper and the weight of it in my hand and being able to fold it and highlight and stuff, but I will admit, since getting a Kindle, I I swear I read faster. Since getting my Kindle, I've read like six books and I've only had it, I want to say a month. And to me, that's a lot. Some people read like a hundred books a month or 50 books a month and stuff. I am trying to be that person. However, I am not. I am like a two to maybe five. That's like my little threshold. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. What else is new? Oh, I've been reading Harry Potter. I say I've been reading. I have been listening to the audiobooks. Audiobooks count as books, in my opinion. I think it's the same story as if you were like physically reading it. So I think they count and I commute for work. So I go through audiobooks quickly because I sit in a car like an hour to work or an hour back and it's the same book. It's the same book. So this year I've been doing the Harry Potter series and I'm on, I'm almost done with the second book. I have like 30 minutes left in it, but I'm trying to get through all the Harry Potters this fall. So that way I can fully immerse myself in them. I usually watch all the movies every fall. Like I, I've seen the movies a million times. I can't even tell you how many times I've seen it. It multiple times every year. Like they're my comfort movies, love them. That's Professor Minerva McGonagall. Like I named a cat after a character but I wanted to read the books because I haven't I haven't read them yet I kind of want to retake the Pottermore quiz just to see if I'm still the same house that I used to be I should actually go ahead and finish this audiobook while I get ready so that way I can download the third book Prisoner of Escaban and I can listen to that on my drive over to the exhibit a snake which may reach gigantic size and live many hundreds of years Look at this lipstick. It, it looks crazy right now. It looks black, but watch. It's like a basculus skin or snake skin. This part's still wet, but it gives the most like vampy, berry, wine stained effect, and I fucking love it. It's gonna be so great for fall.
I'm thinking about wearing this little, uh, what do you call it, sweater vest, shirt, dress shorts. I got my Deucey London boots. Or, hear me out, if I want to have a heat stroke in Florida, I can wear a sweater in the summer. I can do a little Wednesday Adam moment. I think if I wore this, I actually, I do think I would die in this. It's literally 100 plus degrees, so top shop it is. We're gonna do Billie Eilish because the bottle literally looks like artwork and it smells like vanilla. And then a little bit of replica by the fireplace because I have to mix this with anything I'm wearing. I just, I have to. Before I leave, I'm gonna clean my purse out because it is so stuffed, I can't close it. And also, it feels like if I swung it hard enough, it could knock somebody out. So that's how I know it's time to clean it out. This is the Doc Martin 11 inch. I can put a lot in here for an 11 inch. Starting with the necessities my keys these are dupes for a prada sunglasses these were like 10 bucks and prada sunglasses are like 200 so that was a steal and then i have a little fox my niece made this for me not one not two but three different little medicine compartments these this has been the best purchase of 2023 i swear to god it's this little container for your medicine and you can one second let me get it it's a little container and you can take each day's medicine out and you can like pop it in your purse and then you can put them back in the little thing. It's literally so good. We have a binary sweet on the outside body mist that I don't recommend because this body mist lasts like 0.2 seconds. <coughs> oh my God, I breathed it in. It's because I was talking shit about it, trying to kill me. And then we have some cinnamon gum because fall is coming up and cinnamon is a fall flavor. And I don't care if sometimes it makes me gag because I had a bad experience with Fireball, but cinnamon gum. We got a claw filer, my Kindle. So I have a whole library at my fingertips. Oh, I have a dice, pick a number one through six. If you picked one, you are correct. We got some Altoids Peppermint. The world's best chapstick. I will not argue about it with anybody. This is the best chapstick to ever exist. An inhaler so I can breathe. Ooh. Okay, we got a little pin that you can click down different colors so it can write in like blue and pink and green and it has a little dinosaur at the top. Super cute. If you're a 90s baby or a 2000s baby, you remember the little different color pins. I got my oh shit kit. These just have like cotton corks, tampons, phone chargers, um, a miniature glossier mirror. What else? A pen. These are the world's best pens. They're made out of water bottles and they write so well. Oh, and poopery because I don't have a gallbladder. So if you don't have a gallbladder, you know what I'm talking about. Another pen. They can also be like a, you know, like that could be a weapon. Ooh, we got a lip stain. This is the dupe for the um, Benetint lip stain. It's a, it's half the price and it's cruelty free, so it automatically is better. We have a fortune, a fortune cookie. A lingering question will be answered happily tomorrow. Um, oil perfumery. This is supposed to smell like the Baccarat Rouge 540. Unpopular opinion. I don't think it smells good. We have a seashell for love. Oh, we got a, oh, another fortune cookie. You will achieve your goals. Don't believe me, the cookie said so. And then we have an Aquarius. This is probably dead because I use it so much. It looks like a but it's not. It's just a lighter, but it's an electric lighter. So I have to charge it, but it's the Aquarius. Aquarius symbol and then we have a selenite stick to cleanse, you know, just Cleanse you keep my purse nice and clean. We have a wad of cat hair Ooh, One of my go-to lip products for fall coming up. This is the um, Romand Plum coke. Okay, look at it. This is what I'm wearing on my lips. It looks shiny like a gloss, but it's not sticky or slimy like most glosses are. And as it fades, it leaves a stain and it looks like a vampy cherry. Like I'm really, this fall, I'm going for like the, the 
swollen lips just made out with someone seven minutes in heaven like bitten wine stained lips that's my vibe this year that's what i'm going for and this over top of that stain from earlier oh so good got my ear pods which i will always keep in my purse at all times so i can ignore people even when they're dead, I like to put them in so people don't talk to me. We got a scrunchie. I have given away so many scrunchies because there's always someone in the bathroom. It's always the girl's bathroom. Somebody needs a hair tie, but regular hair ties like damage your hair. So I always carry a scrunchie. Your good nature will bring you happiness. We have replica by the fireplace. Again, that's like, so far, that's my signature scent. I've been trying to find something a little more sophisticated and like vanilla-y, but I, I always, 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 always have this on. This is Way With Woods by Sniff. I think I put this in here because I didn't like the way it smelled and I was trying to use it up. Yeah, I don't like the way it smells. Another poopery. I'm, I'm noticing a trend that I have multiples of the same thing in here because I'm so scared to be without one of them that I put two just in case. That might just be my OCD, like I have to have multiples for safety. Speaking of safety, we have a black tourmaline for protection and a labradorite also for protection. Good vibes, cleanse the purse. These are my like purse crystals. And then, you are naturally ambitious and will make a name for yourself. And then we have another perfume. I don't like that one. My second wallet, I keep two wallets. This one has cash, gift cards, and my military ID in it. And then my other one is RFID proof, so that way people can't scan my chips. We have a Rare Beauty lip oil that I'm pretty sure is leaking in my purse. And then, you will have Good luck in your personal affairs. The last thing, I always keep cat treats in my purse. Um, I call them kitty catchers because when I see strays and give them snacks, sometimes I can pick them up and kidnap them. Obviously they work. next day but look what I got this is just my VIP ticket this just shows that you can do like the VR the virtual reality part you get a little lanyard and this little plastic ticket a bookmark because you can never have too many bookmarks this is roses and peony painting by Van Gogh this is one of his self portraits on a postcard. Of course I got the Starry Night because how could you go to a Van Gogh exhibit and not get something with a Starry Night on it? 
This was a painting he did of his bedroom and I also have a poster with the same thing. This poster is also the bedroom painting. You got it for free with the VIP ticket. I got a sticker for my laptop. It has the sunflowers on it. And then these are the best parts. I saved the best for last. Oh, with the VIP, you also get a bag. But I got art prints. <laughs> we got the roses and peonies, which is my favorite. To be honest, this is my favorite. This is also what I have the bookmark of. The sunflowers. And then this one's my second favorite. I really like this one. This was the most expensive one. I got the big print and I got the mat. But this is the Starry Night over the Rhone. I actually kind of like this one better than the regular Starry Night. This one's my second favorite. I prefer this one. That's everything that I got. I did pay to do the VIP experience because I wanted to do the virtual reality where they read you one of Van Gogh's letters to his brother and I really liked it, but I will see you next time.